Good morning everyone, this is Daya and on today's Timely Truths, we'll be talking about the concept of denying ourselves. The Bible passage we'll be focusing on comes from the book of Luke. The NIV version of Luke 9.23 says, Then he said to them all, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me. And the New Living Translation, which I actually really like, puts this verse as, Then he said to the crowd, If any of you wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way, take up your cross daily, and follow me. So the part that I really like says that we must give up our own way. This is important because as humans, many times we crave to pursue our own desires. So what does this mean to deny ourselves or give up our own way? And why is it necessary that we take up our cross daily and follow Jesus? So I wanted to break this concept down into three different parts. Number one, denying ourselves. Number two, taking up our cross. And the last part is following Jesus. So first, the passage says we must deny ourselves. The only way we can follow Christ is if we deny our fleshly desires. We need to go against what the world is telling us is right and follow the ways that our Father tells us to live. We need to reject what pleases ourselves and run after what glorifies God. And many times this means that we have to get rid of what we believe is comfortable and what we believe is right and what we believe is easy. When we deny ourselves, we are following the example of Jesus who graciously died for us on the cross to save us from our own sins. The next step or the next part of the passage is taking up our cross. So what does it mean when it says to take up our cross? Well, when Jesus died on the cross, he suffered. It was a painful experience for him. It's something that wasn't naturally easy. Yes, Jesus was 100% God, and at the same time, he was 100% man. So even though he was God, he still felt that pain and suffering. In the Bible, when it says to take up our cross, it is similar to denying ourselves. We must put to rest our sinful desires and obey what God says. Going against our flesh um, can be troublesome and painful at times, but the Holy Spirit continually guides us so that one day we can be set free from our sinful nature. This is why it says that we need to take up our cross daily. Each day, we have to decide to say no to what our flesh says. We have to say no to lying, to lustful thoughts, say no to sin, and say no to everything that the Lord says is wrong. And the final part of this passage says that we must follow Jesus. Following Jesus entails becoming more and more like him each day. According to his word, there are several ways we can follow Jesus. We are called to love our enemies, which is commanded in Matthew 5, 44. Matthew 22, 39 says to love our neighbors as ourselves. Jesus calls us to be humble, not to judge others, not to worry about tomorrow or what we will wear or eat or drink. His word says that to follow him, we must seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness every single day. And these are just some of the many, many ways that the Bible tells us how to seek the Lord and how to follow him in our daily lives. So in the end, dying and turning away from our sinful nature is not an easy task. I personally have caught myself several times following what I think is right, not necessarily what the Bible tells me is right. But by His grace and by the power of the Holy Spirit, Jesus can fill us with the strength to fully surrender our lives to Him so that we may live a godly and Christ-centered life. I pray that Jesus reveals Himself to you this week and that, you, and that you become more and more like him each day. Thank you and God bless.